Hi, I need to um, call my daughter out from school today. She just informed me that she's got some symptoms um, from her booster reaction and needs to come home after her next class. She gets done with class at 10.40 a.m. today and needs to come home. So if you can give me a call back or give her a notice to leave class after that, that would be great. If you need to contact me, uh, my name is Dana Brown and my daughter's name is Kaylee Brown and she is in the 11th grade. Again, she just needs to be called from class and excused for the rest of the day. Thank you. So yeah, that's how our morning is. <laughs> I kind of anticipated that. I actually didn't think Kaylee would make it as far as she has this morning. Um, she texted me probably right after she got off the bus. Hello, welcome to our day, by the way. <laughs> she texted me right after she got on the bus, maybe even right after she got to the school today. She's like, yeah, I'm not gonna last all day. <laughs> She's like, I have a chem test and a math test. And after that, I need to come home. They start finals this week and next week. And so she's like, there's just some things that I need to do and some things that I don't. And so she texted me, I don't know, about 10 minutes ago. And she's like, get me out of here. <laughs> so I'm hurrying to get ready. But I'm also filming a video and getting ready to go to Costco with Jason. So a little bit crazy this morning. So join us. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a crazy day. But that's okay because that's what you guys like. <laughs> Oh, hello there. I forgot and set the camera down while we were out getting Kaylee. Feel better? Sorry. Booster reaction. She's just got the, I feel cruddy symptoms. I just went and picked her up from school and uh, brought her home. So now we're off to run errands. We have a lot to do. We've got packages to ship. Uh... Yeah. Let me go check the mail real quick. Anyway, yeah, we have uh, Costco, packages, bank. I'd like a car wash. And yeah, maybe, no, we gotta do Maybe a car it's wash. crazy to wash our car when it's raining. No, we need to get all the road salt and stuff off of it. Yeah. Your dad was so cute on Saturday. He was like, guess what? I went to wash my car. <laughs> he was so excited to get all the grime off of his car. So, and our garage door is not shutting, so we're just waiting here for to make sure it gets shut. That's funny. Yeah. Okay, what do we got there? I can't show you what it is, but this is the title to this car. We paid it off in two years. No, to, no, it's more than that. No, we got the car in January of twenty of 2020. Six. 2000, yeah, 2020. We got it right before the pandemic hit, like oh. weeks before. Oh, I didn't realize it was that fast. Yeah, so good job. He, he paid it off, but I, I can't show it to you. There's the title to our car. Okay, we're at Brown Bear and um, nervous. I hate going through here now. It used to be like one of my favorite things to do with the car, but he's driving, so. Her alarm goes off and she gets up to watch the morning news. Doesn't work no more, but tells a lot of stories about her youth. Drinks more lately, ain't got pills in many different colors too. Morning light is showing, she moves the chair to look out at her view. But a shop was put right across the street, and it stands by the sun or as he used to be in the afternoon. To read, goes through old pictures and memories. Our heroes have been forgotten. Our heroes so brave and bold. Our heroes have been forgotten. Our heroes so they got old. Our heroes have been forgotten. Our heroes so brave and bold. Our heroes have been forgotten. Our heroes so they. nerves are very high <laughs> I'm not driving so I'm but I'm a nervous wreck and I understand how nerve-wracking it is but we made it through it's we fine. shut the thing down last time I know we did <laughs> it's all good the car is clean so we're getting some good stuff at Costco here just came in to get some of the garlic pasta so Jason got his chicken bake over at the 
the food court and then ditched me. Just went back to the car, walked right past me. I have all the food. Just, you know, got his food and went back to the car. <laughs> Literally walked right past me, so that's lovely. I will show you what we got here in a second. We got a few things that are different. How's that chicken bake? Go up. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right, let me show you what we got here. Also, look how clean my car is. It's looking really good. See, look. Cleaned off all that sand. I guess we should have shown it before, but it looks really good now. Okay, I'll show you from the cart the things that were a little bit different. We got some more of the chocolate powder. I just couldn't do $60 and get the vanilla one as well, so. And then uh, cottage cheese, yogurts, gogurts, I should say. We got yogurt down there. Then I got more of these chicken strips. These are really good. They're just straight chicken. The garlic pasta was on rebate, so we got some of that. You know, we got Jason's Necessity. Essentials. Uh, melatonin was on a major rebate. It was $5 off, which was incredible. Then eggs. We're kind of seeing that things are, anyway, we'll talk about it in the car. So we stocked up on eggs. And oatmeal is always on rebate in January because it's January, healthy food month. Got chips for the kids, yogurt, bread. We got these ones for Ashley and I. I eat these at our friend's house for game night and I just think it's gonna be a good choice of something different for Ashley, but they're really, really good for her. Bananas. Um, I did get some muffins. Just trying to get Ashley to eat something different but be excited about something. So I think she'll like that. Then apples, milk, yogurt, bread, Cheerios. Talk about Cheerios here in a second as well. And then I got Chelsea some gym shoes. See if these ones fit her. I think she's really gonna like that they're Pumas. And uh, she's starting to be big into name brands as well. But I gotta get it so that I can afford it. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to not be making noise eating his chicken. Stop! Eating his chicken bake. Um, You've earned the schmuck title for a reason, just so you know. Mm. So their their supply of food is shrinking. It's crazy. Like the milk was almost back to the wall, the one we get. I think there's only like, anyway, I guess I should have shown some of it. Some of it you couldn't tell. Like it was just about spacing in the store. Like they didn't have any raspberries. They didn't in like the, the refrigerated section. And even that section, I think really, it was like it's really much more small. Empty. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was like there the wasn't produce, an extra. The produce areas were were with, had holes. Yeah, definitely, and like all the bananas were green, meaning that they probably only have the ones that just barely came in. Um, anyway, and then other sections were out of food that we didn't expect. So my sister-in-law lives on the other side of Washington State and shops in Western Washington stores. Won't we'll talk about whether they believe in COVID over there or not, but they, <laughs> because our passes um, have been closed down due to snow, um, they don't have any food. Like they haven't had shipments be able to come across the pass and bring them food. What her grocery store looked like, empty. There's, like it was empty. There's basically like two main passes with a third kind mm -hmm. of pass. In order to go east or west in Washington, and it might be open now. Yeah. But for the last three days at least. At least a week. You had to, you have to go all the way down to Portland, mm -hmm. all, along, all the way along the Washington side of the gorge, because mm -hmm. the Oregon side has had landslides. And I don't even think they let semi trucks go down that road. Yeah. A, 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 several of the days, which means in order to go east or west, a semi truck to make a delivery would have to go like, to like, southern oregon or something like mm -hmm. that i don't even know what east west in oregon there is besides the gorge so anyways it's there's a lot of commerce not going back and forth so yeah that's why so kind of stocked up on eggs and milk just to make sure the shipments can come in we'll be back on regular shopping next monday but anyway so i'm trying these little apple crisp thingies they don't look very appealing but they're quite addicting once you start eating them but you need to drink a lot of water with them because they are dehydrated apples. So you need to like have water and like hydrate them back in your belly. <laughs> but I think Ashley, once she tries them, she will like them. So, and what's next? While we wait for you to eat your bake. 
I don't know. So when we were here at the car wash, our nerves got to us and we forgot to take the mats out. We want to spray them off. They're so nasty. Here, let me show you. This will be mine this on the passenger daughter. side. It's like we have toddlers all over again, but also it's like winter, but like, and look how nasty that is. If fate because her dad her only visits once a month Since she got a family of her own It's kept the two apart Used to have so many visitors But now the only one Is the nurse that helps her move the chair To look out at the sun But a shop was built right across the street And it stands where the sunrise used to be In the afternoons and the catch to read Our heroes have been forgotten Our heroes so brave and bold Our heroes have been forgotten So we're putting the mats back here while they're wet so we can kind of lay them out at home. It's getting caught on the auto sensor. Let's see if it'll close. So then when we get home, we need to vacuum all this oh. out. Oh. It's, it's like, like the toddlers all over it's again. It's like cereal or something. It's nasty. All right kind of frustrated right now. We haven't really discussed with you guys our issues, and I don't know how much I'm going to, but Ashley and her eating and her food issues and why we ended up in the ER at Children's Hospital, what, a week and a half ago? She's not eating. She doesn't like to eat. She doesn't want to eat. She doesn't, nothing sounds good. She got bored with the things that she's been eating consistently for many, many years, and she's bored with that. And I totally understand. I'm not forcing her to eat those things. She's just choosing not to eat the things that we eat. She's not, you know, allowing herself to try new foods and whatever. So she's sick of eating what she normally eats. And so she's just not. And then she gets hunger pains and associates that with actual pain, which is why we ended up in the hospital with thinking that she had appendicitis. When it was literally hunger pains. I'm frustrated right now because this is the third time in a week and a half, not even a week and a half, in a week that we have gotten a call from the nurse's office. I'm in front of the school right now, that's why I keep looking over there. Jason's going to get her because she has hunger pains, but because of COVID, the pain is, you know, stomach pain, whatever, is now a symptom that they can't ignore. And it is an automatic go home from school. And last week, I guess, they um, allowed us to talk on the phone and like have a conversation about it. And she got a breakfast bar and was able to go back to class. She's fine because she ate and had some water. But that was the assistant nurse. And now the actual nurse is back in the office this week. She's like, we're gonna have to have another conversation with the principal and come, at, come up with like another protocol for Ashley because if this truly is what's going on and you're aware of it, then we have to come up with another you know, backup plan for when she has these pains when she's at school so we don't automatically have to send her home. <sighs> and I'm like, I'm trying as a parent to not be mad at her because the, if you get mad at kids for food, then it becomes a food issue and then you have eating disorders. I completely understand that. And I'm not gonna do this kind of a attitude when she gets into the car, but we are, that's why we're ch changing what we're eating and, and showing her different recipes like the waffles, the protein waffles, and spending some extra money to be able to, you know, stock up on that kind of stuff so she has something to eat. But it's getting frustrating because she just had a breakfast drink for breakfast this morning and insists on trying something new for school lunch, which I totally appreciate. She's right there. Can we see if I can see? Yeah, she's coming. She wants to do school lunch, but then doesn't, I don't, the, the option she chooses yogurt and cheese lunch isn't very much. Hi, boo. Hi. Since Ashley's home, she's helping us vacuum out the car, right? So we've got plenty of mess cleaned up back here. You saw it before. So we're doing pretty good back here. We had a lot of fries underneath here. <laughs> that is 100% my fault. All right, I forgot to show you the car. And we're having garage issues still, the garage door. And so I don't want to so I don't want to like open up the garage door. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Maybe I'm going to have to. Hang on. All right. Much better. Uh, so we got the floor all cleaned out down here. It looks much better than the way it was before. And these seats, seriously, they like go far, way far forward. And you can get clear underneath them and vacuum them out. And uh, anyway, it wasn't too bad back here because no one wants to. Oh, there's a mask. Goodness. Yeah, mom, we got them all. We got all the masks out of the car. Yeah, it looks like it. And then back here, Ashley actually wiped this down 
it was getting pretty dirty and I was able to clean this out just a little bit and put my little mini vacuum into the bottom little tray here and those are our little Costco bags. In fact, I have another one I need to put in here. This little vacuum thing used to sit in that little compartment right there and it was always kind of in the way. So I kind of wanted to tuck it in there. So there's that. And then this is my emergency kit and it doesn't fit underneath here. So it got tucked in right there. And the floor mats, they're actually pretty dry. I could put them back in, but I'll wait till Jason can help me. So they're just kind of drying out on the bikes here. But you can see here in the front seat how far this seat can go forward and how easily it was to like get underneath vacuumed back here. Um, so I, I love this car. If you guys are in the market for a new car, we highly recommend the Honda Pilot. I've talked about this car um, with two people this, just this week. One with how well it did in the snow and two with like how much you can get in here like how many people, like eight adults fit in this car. It's not really road trip worthy for eight adults or eight large children, but like, you know, anyway. So oh yeah, see, here's my other bags. I need to put those back in the car. They come in handy at Costco. We don't ever take them in to the store with us because it's kind of annoying to take the time to bag it up when you're in the store. But then when you're putting it all into the car, you just load it into the bags and uh, bring it all in. But I do want to get, um, see these are Washington ones. They're really cute. I'm sad because the past three years, well, minus COVID year, um, we've looked at Costco in Hawaii, which is where I started buying these bags and they have not sold them. And I'm so sad and I'm so mad that I never kept my other ones in better condition. I just thought, oh, I'll just get new ones. <laughs> And so now I just have Washington ones. So anyway, I'm just putting them, I just tuck them underneath there. And then I shut little tray. And also, just in case you wanted to know, um, maybe we did this in the tour, but this little tray thing actually comes out and you can drop it down into the bottom compartment. So then you have um, like more depth for the back tray here. So because we kind of got frustrated with Ashley when we got home, She's actually out playing now. We got kind of frustrated with her and so we came home and we made a quadruple batch of these waffles and froze the rest of them. She had two of them. And then we froze the rest. That way in the morning she can take these little waffles and put them in the toaster or a microwave. They're not too crunchy because they have kind of the wrong texture of waffles so they don't really get kind of crispy when you're putting them on the waffle maker. So I figured maybe putting them in the toaster would give them a little bit of a crisp and then she can put the butter and syrup and Cool Whip on them for breakfast. Because I just, she is doing a lot better in the late afternoon and the evenings when she's here at home because she's having these for one of her meals and she's getting extra protein at the end of the day and that's helping her sleep and helping her feel full and helping her feel like she wants to eat again. And she's coming and she's being prompted on her own to come and get a meal, which is important because I've noticed she just has no desire to even come unprompted, mom, I'm hungry, what's for dinner? Like she just doesn't even do that anymore. So I'm kind of hoping that these work and I'm also hoping that I can put these away and only let them be for breakfast. It's kind of a, my kids kind of use them as a snack. Can't do that anymore. So dad took Chelsea and Abby to back to Costco, right? Yeah. To exchange your shoes because they didn't well, quite we fit. Exchange them. Well, you just returned it and then bought new pairs. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. yeah. But Abby, tell them what happened. Are you the same size as Chelsea? Yeah, they're both seven. That's crazy. I know. I checked their toes. They, yeah. Chelsea's <laughs> growing. Chelsea's going to be at least as tall as Abby. But look at that. Stand back to back, you two. Oh, you're still okay. You're still a good amount of difference. Yeah. But I Dad got you a hot dog and a churro? Mm -hmm. That was mine. Of course that was yours. Though. I was like, you don't normally yeah. get the churro. She did eat a dinner, so mm -hmm. she's doing good. Um, but I just got your dinner put in the oven, Jace. You didn't get something there, did you? No. Okay. Chelsea, you need to have some salad or something, veggies, right? We forgot paper plates at Costco too. Yeah. For the store, so he got some. But Chelsea, put your shoes on and let me see them. What do you think, Chelsea? You're trying to hold still because they're still hooked together, right? Do they fit well? Yeah. 
Okay, so you can take them apart. Uh, yeah. So you started PE, so we needed to get you some good PE shoes. And these are just for PE until summer, right? Because you have I PE this semester and next semester. Yeah. So keep these nice. And Abby got a pair because she is in yoga in school. I think starting next week. So, but you like them? Yep. Okay. Good. All right, I just remember we still haven't ended today's video. And this little squirt needs to go to bed. We're gonna sign off. I hope you guys enjoyed today. I can almost get my hair back into a bun, a bun on the top of my head, um, but not no. quite. Not all of it fits, <laughs> right? <laughs> all right. <She's> pulling out. <laughs> all right, take care you guys. Hopefully we have four healthy kids going back to school tomorrow, but you need to get a good night's sleep to do so, correct? Yes. Take care you guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Also, I have a fun little secret. You're gonna wanna know what it is, but you have to come back and find out. And I don't know when I'm gonna tell you. So, keep watching. Take care. People don't stay the same, you know. I just hope their stories will still be told